<laughs> now, he played the world's sexiest vampire in True Blood, and now he's got the lead role in The Legend of Tarzan. Please welcome back to the show, Alexander Skarsgård. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, I feel terrible, yeah. So I, maybe I should take the hand sanitizer. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, because you're yeah. all sick now. Yeah, right. yeah Alex, Alexander's under the weather. Yeah. Are you okay? No. <laughs> what do so you like have? So, like, five minutes ago, Tarzan, the king of the jungle, sat in your green room, like, if I don't make it through, tell mom I love her. <laughs> no. no, what happened? What, where did you get this? I was, um, maybe from, I flew out to L.A. for a three hours right, and then turned ended. around so yeah. it was like 12 hours on a plane in one day so maybe that's from that you know it's amazing they all live like women are so, they love vampires like a vampire could bite them in the neck if i give them a cold they want to break up what is that <laughs> right. what does that mean yeah vampires can get away with anything so yeah well not anymore i guess <laughs> so you live in new york city now is that right yeah how do you like it here i love it have you been here a long time uh i went to college here oh, i see for three days, <laughs> and then I dropped out. No, a, a semester, and yeah. then I dropped out. Uh, um, and then I was, we shot True Blood in LA, so I lived out there for many years. Right. Um, but then after we wrapped The uh, Legend of Tarzan, I moved out here. That's so, great, well, welcome. Thank you for having can you, me, guys. Uh, can thank you, you, New York. Um, can you walk around New York like a normal person? Yeah, do you get recognized a lot? Uh, uh, not really. You stand out. I, I'm pretty I think tall, but New Yorkers—they don't care about me. Right. They're, <laughs> New Yorkers are very busy and right. preoccupied doing yeah. their own thing. So, yeah. um, but I, I grew up in South Stockholm, and um, being in LA for many years, I—it it feels nice to be back in a city where you take the subway or walk or interact with people on a daily mm -hmm. basis. Have you ever been on one of those? Uh, what are they called? The uh, the floating uh, saunas. Have yeah. you ever been? Yeah. Yeah. All nude? Yes. Yeah. Is they have curious? one. I they don't know why. I don't know where I, I just, That's like a, that's so a Stockholm get, thing, right? It's not a Stockholm thing. I did a movie up like a th way up in northern Sweden. It's basically the equivalent of Alaska, but like way up, mm -hmm. uh, a, you know, a 15 hour drive north of Stockholm. So um, and they had um, a raft on a river, like a sauna on a raft that they just drift it down the river so you go on and they have a barbecue and a sauna yeah and it the it's the pace is so slow that you can you jump off and you swim and then you catch up with it and it's the most amazing thing so well, you, you sit you, on you it all on day a boat naked barbecuing yeah <clears throat> it's all new obviously <laughs> it's like all nude all the time yeah the right? meat tastes way better if you're naked <laughs> yeah. is this get, is this for me can i drink this Vodka. I feel really bad, guys, because no, I, it's all I right. high five everyone. No, we're gonna we're gonna disinfect them. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. It's like an anointing, though, right? If you get somebody sick, they're like Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah. <laughs> right? Thank you. I, I just can't get over naked on a barbecue and the meat tastes <laughs> better. You should come, man. It's quite fun. I am. Just don't get too close. Right. <laughs> like, what is that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Just the two of us drifting right, down the river. Right, <laughs> right, right. What other trips do you like to take? Do you ever do? You, I, you're a rugged guy, right? You like to go off the grid and do crazy things. I do things? like stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? What's your? Um, I've I had an opportunity to go down to the South Pole two years ago, and I skied. So we were down there for a month. No kidding. Yeah, it was incredible. Uh, we skied um, three degrees, so from up on the plateau to the South Pole. Which was an, uh, just the most surreal experience. Wow. I all know this is going to gonna sound crazy. All I the way to feel South like you're Pole. upside down. Yeah. Right? Don't you feel <laughs> like, no, but the, like the are you thing skiing that, backwards? Right. <laughs> no, but the trippy thing is you stand there yeah. and you're the southernmost human being on the planet. And everywhere you look is north. Right. So you go like, that's north, that, that, that's north. I feel it's, like that after happy hour. So that's <laughs> <the thing. laughs>
<laughs> it's when you're down the same down. direction. It's all north. <laughs> The South Pole, I just, I, yeah. you know, I think my problem is I, I don't, tr like, flying that far and going those... You go on a, this Russian cargo plane down to this Russian base on the coast of Antarctica, and then you f take a, uh, a DC-3 prop plane up to the, the plateau, and then you ski there. From Wait, there. can anybody do this, or can you do this because... It was for a British charity called Walking with the Wounded. Oh, wow. So okay. they had three teams, an American team, uh, a Commonwealth team with soldiers from Canada and Australia, and a British team. Um, so we had four soldiers on each team right. that were all wounded in Afghanistan or right. Iraq. Wow. Um, so we got, yeah, we got to spend a month with them, and it was just the most humbling experience. Yeah. We had a blind guy on our team. Yeah. So he skied for a month blind, right. uh, double amputees. It was uh, incredible. Real heroes. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Listen, um, we have to take a commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about acting like an animal. Whatever happens, do not interfere. Understand? Mm-hmm. He beats me yeah. badly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, you know. Because Tarzan or John is a bit rusty. This is when he returns to the jungle. After right. leaving the jungle. So the, yeah, our movie opens in London when he's been there for almost a decade. Right. So it's not the Tarzan that you expect to meet. It's not the me Tarzan, you Jane. Right. It's a very sophisticated British lord. He took an Uber to the jungle. Got yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> very sophisticated. Drinks tea with the prime minister, right, and, and then right. he goes back. So he's a bit rusty. He's, right. He hasn't been, he hasn't fought these guys in a while. So right. he, he gets beaten here. Do they recognize him? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's his uh, ape brother that he grew up with. Oh. Um, but he's considered a deserter because he's been gone for so long. Oh man. And they're in their, they're trespassing. Right. They're in their territory now. Yeah. Um, I have to acknowledge. I would be remiss to not acknowledge your body. <laughs> um, I hate to objectify you, but as a talk show host, I simply must. <laughs> it is your job. How did you uh, get in shape for the role? I mean, I think you're, I'm pretty sure that underneath there, you're, that's still your shape. Definitely not. No, <laughs> no. no God, it was I'm very tired of it already. rigorous. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> amazing they don't let like women are so, they love vampires like a vampire could bite them in the neck if i give them a cold they want to break up what is that okay. what does that mean yeah vampires can get away with anything so yeah well not anymore i guess <laughs> so you live in new york city now is that right yeah how do you like it here i love it have you been here a long time uh i went to college here oh, i see for three days mm -hmm. and then i dropped out <laughs> no a semester and yeah. then i dropped out uh um and then I was, we shot True Blood in L.A., so I lived out there for many years. Right. Um, but then after we wrapped uh, Legend of Tarzan, I moved out here. That's so, great. Well, welcome. Thank you for having can me, you, guys. Uh, can thank you, you, New York. Um, can you walk around New York like a normal person? Yeah, do you get recognized a lot? Uh... Uh, not really. You stand out. I, I'm pretty I think tall, you stand but out. New Yorkers, they don't care about me. Right. <laughs> New Yorkers are very busy and right. preoccupied doing yeah. their own thing. So, yeah. um, but I, I grew up in South Stockholm, and um, being in LA for many years, I, it, it feels nice to be back in a city where you take the subway or walk or interact with people on a daily basis. Mm. Have you ever been on one of those, uh, what are they called? The, uh, the floating uh, saunas? Have yeah. you ever been? Yeah. Yeah. All nude? Yes. Yeah. Is they have curious? one. They I, don't have one. Why, I don't know why. I, that's just, that's, like a, that's so a Stockholm can, thing, right? It's not a Stockholm thing. I did a movie up like a th way up in northern Sweden. It's basically the mm -hmm. equivalent of Alaska, but like way up, mm -hmm. uh, a, you know, a 15 hour drive north of Stockholm. So um, and they had um, a raft on a, like a sauna on a raft that they just 
drift it down the river. So you go on and they have a barbecue and a sauna. Yeah. And it the it's the pace is so slow that you can you jump off and you swim and then you catch up with it and it's the most amazing thing. Well, so you, you sit you, on it you all on day. On a boat, naked, barbecuing. Yeah. <clears throat> it's all new. Obviously. <laughs> It's like all nude all the time. Yeah, the right? meat tastes way better if you're naked. <laughs> yeah. is, this, get, is this for me? Can I drink this? That's, that's vodka. I feel really bad, guys, because no, I, right. I high five everyone. No, it's all right. No, we're going we're gonna to disinfect them. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. It's like an anointing, though, right? If you get somebody sick, they're like Alexander Skarsgård. Uh. Right? Thank you. I, I just can't get over naked on a barbecue and the meat tastes better. <laughs> You should come, man. It's quite fun. I am. Just don't get too close. Right. They're like, what is that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Just the two of us drifting right, down the river. Right. <laughs> right, right. What other trips do you like to take? Do you ever do... You, I, you're a rugged guy, right? You like to go off the grid and do crazy things? I do things? like stuff like that, yeah, yeah. what do you do? What's your... Um, I've I had an opportunity to go down to the South Pole two years ago, and I skied, so we were down there for a month. No kidding. Yeah, it was incredible. Uh, we skied um, three degrees, so from up on the plateau to the South Pole, which was an, uh, just the most surreal experience. Wow. I all know this is going to gonna sound crazy. All I always feel like you're Pole. upside down. Yeah. Right? Don't you feel like, no, but the, like the are you thing skiing that, backwards? Right. <laughs> no, well, the trippy thing is you stand there, yeah. and you're the southernmost human being on the planet, and everywhere you look is north. Now, he played the world's sexiest vampire in True Blood, and now he's got the lead role in The Legend of Tarzan. Please welcome back to the show, Alexander Skarsgård. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, I feel terrible, yeah. So I, maybe I should take the hand sanitizer. I'm sorry, guys, because you're yeah. all sick now. Yeah, right. yeah Alex, Alexander's under the weather. Yeah. Are you okay? No. <laughs> what do so you So, like, f five minutes ago, Tarzan, the king of the jungle, sat in your green room, like, if I don't make it through, tell mom I love her. <laughs> no. no, what happened? <laughs> Wait, where did you get this? I was, um, maybe from, I flew out to L.A. for a three hours right, and then yeah, turned ended. around. So yeah. it was like 12 hours on a plane in one day. So maybe that's from that. So, right. So you go like, that's north, that, that, that's north. I feel it's, like that after happy hour. So that's the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same the direction. It's all north. <laughs> The South Pole, I just, I, yeah. you know, I think my problem is I, I don't, tra like, flying that far and going those... You go on a, this Russian cargo plane down to this Russian base on the coast of Antarctica, and then you take a, a, a DC-3 prop plane up to the, the plateau, and then you ski there. From Wait, there. can anybody do this, or can you do this because... It was for a British charity called Walking with the Wounded. Oh, wow. So okay. they had three teams, an American team, uh, a Commonwealth team with soldiers from Canada and Australia, and a British team. Um, so we had four soldiers on each team right. that were all wounded in Afghanistan or right. Iraq. Wow. Um, so we got, yeah, we got to spend a month with them, and it was just the most humbling experience. Yeah. We had a blind guy on our team. Yeah. So he skied for a month blind right uh, double amputees it was uh, incredible real heroes yeah yeah it's yeah. amazing Listen, um